Copyright disclaimer. <laughs> this is supposed to be a fun one, not a heavy one. I'm not mad. I just, ooh, <laughs> that's my bad. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture, because I've been living under a rock. Um, I just watched Nimona. It's on Netflix. It was supposed to be like on Disney and it was like done by Blue Sky. Disney had its gay panic and not in the fun way. It's, a, I'm still trying to untangle that. Nimona finally exists. It got finished and it dropped on Netflix. In a minute, I'll be cutting to my reactions from watching the movie for the first time, then back here to the studio for the Thinky Thinky Collected Thoughts, the review, the breakdown, once my mental faculties could catch up with my emotional ones. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. And I can't stress this enough. Just like every video and every stream that I do, there is a card linked in the description, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? Very important, but very heavy things happen in this movie. Nimona is based off of a graphic novel series by N.D. Stevenson, who also did She-Ra, so that's awesome. <laughs> I did a video on that. There's a track from Kipo in here, which I've also done videos on. Like, it's, I feel like serendipitous because the movie wasn't meant to be on Netflix. It's a very layered and dense story, and I just want to say thank you, not only to the people involved in creating the movie, but also you guys for supporting me. And this was a really hard one for me, so I just want to say thank you. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Enjoy. It's also very fun, <laughs> <laughs> this has been a really hard one to edit, so enjoy. I only have a couple more days to edit this and then I have to pay for Netflix, so like and subscribe. A long, long time ago, a kingdom lived in peace. Until the Fire Nation attacked. Ooh. A hero rose up. Go back to the shadows from whence you came. Hi. Glorith vowed that her people would never be vulnerable again. So it's an impossible <laughs> thing to promise. You can never let your guard down. The Damn. Whoa. But this is also the most controversial wedding ceremony in a thousand years. You can feel the Why? Balancer, the street kid with the impossible dream of being a nut. Ah, don't beat up the child. Okay, good, you won. But he might just have the heart of a hero. What? Go off, queen. Hey, daddy. Hey, daddy. <coughs> Hi. It's weird having like cell phones and TVs, but I'm here for it. Will the kingdom accept this knight who might not be right? Ew, what? Hey, daddy. You were better and worked harder than all of us. You're gonna be a nice pal. Oh, yay, it's supportive. What if they still hate me? They're gonna love you. And if not, I'm gonna hate them. <laughs> oh, oh, vibes? Vibes, oh my God. Kiss or snuggle, that's cute too. Thanks, Chad. Never weaken and always be the will of glory. We must be strong. Director, I hardly. Last time I went to medieval times, I had to root for the Green Knight, so I'm so dense. I thought those were swim caps, but yay, okay, Lady Knights. Why did I think those were swim caps? Golden loin. Hero. Golden what? Any of you should be able to hold the sword if you want it. If you earn it. Yay. Your sword. Ooh, okay. Applause. Applause, I live for the. Yay. Oh, I was about to say, is the crystal cracked on his sword? Whoa! What the, uh, it was the night on the grassy knoll? Oh, fuck. It has been nine minutes and someone's been murdered. <laughs> Me. He's a murderer. He's a monster. He's perfect. Yes, Kipo, let's go. God, I miss Kipo. That was weird. Hey, Bob. Oh, should've used a frying pan if you're in an abandoned tower. Did they let you keep the old one? <laughs> Safety goggles, please. Not a lot of kids in your life, huh? You, you know what? No. No. Instead of having kids, he's been studying the blade. Oh, it's all here in my application. Just a bunch of drawers. <laughs> I was gonna say under references, it's your mother. Where'd you get the glasses? Boss, your sidekick has her eye. I love how expressive she is. Are these your next targets? Who do you want to kill first? <laughs> this one. Yes. Are you saying that you're not a villain? Yeah. I'm a little bit of everything all rolled into one. I Gonna get arrested. And he got arrested. Ew, they did they took your arm? Director? Director Hardly. I don't know how it how it happened. 
Shit. Yeah, his shocked, scared face in that footage really shows malicious intent. Damn, yeah, it's really, here's all these opportunities in the instant they smell poo, you're nothing again. I told you. Don't. His hand is not a toy. They only see you one way, no matter how hard you try. You okay, kiddo? <laughs> if you see anyone somewhere, I'm not going <laughs> Incapacitate them? Meet you halfway? Oh, the music is incredible. No, play it again. Thank you. They were like this when I got here. Yep. One arm club's about to get some new members. Get it? Dude, no! <laughs> Why don't we just go around doing it your way? Yeah, murder him, murder her, murder everyone! Val? Uh, hold hands. Queen killer hardly. Look, I can get us out of here, but things are about to get weird. Promise me you won't freak out. Promise! I promise, promise, I will not freak out! <laughs> armadillo! God, that's gorgeous. Oh, little armadillo. Something, something, something. We win. Nailed it. Metal. Hell yeah, kid, throw the hordes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the music that saved my life. I've talked about it before. We're good. I thought Nimona was the couch because it's red. I was just like, um. How long was I out for? 20 years. 15 years. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't, uh, don't take pictures when people are asleep, but let's get that framed. I have David and Murderwall. It looks nice. Nice, uh, LED lighting. No! Do not call me that. Uh, you're obviously not a massive fire breathing, you know, thing. And oh my god, she can breathe fire. What are you? I'm Nimona. He's the one that gave me the sword. Squire, I hardly talk to him politely. Absolutely not. Good luck. Nice Mario jump. But go, you. This is. I have a shock. All of these are you. Yeah. Your uncle's head fell on my grandma's butt. <laughs> Oh, that's right, it's all, they're all the knights of the nepotism table. That unicorn. Yeah, you saw it, the thing with the horn that Oh, the rhino. Is blaming Chad too obvious? We are born to protect this kingdom. I was born. We were all born. To have a really big sword. Check. Overcompensating. To treat Ballister like the queen killing monster he is. Society sees them both as monsters. Fuck off. Before someone uh, gets hurt. It's me. Daddy, no. Find Ballister and bring him to me. So you can kiss and talk it out and hold hands? Kitty! We are taking every precaution to keep you safe. Right. No, don't be alarmed, alarmed. Effective. Don't you, uh, you know what? We're going underground. Without the wings. For the purposes of incognito, yes, but... The You're gonna want them later. Yeah, I was gonna say, wings are gonna be really helpful. <gasps> so cool, we're famous. Oh, oh my god. Excuse me, I need to see your face. Of course. Was it a seal? Uh, change into a face and wrap around his face? Like Silly Putty? Oh my god. <laughs> the pink drink in his hair. No, that's so germy. It could have gotten a lot worse. Alright, let's go. Let's get this gonna Recognizes that's not him. True love conquers all? <laughs> Cause he doesn't like chess. Now we go. Did Golden Daddy just weaponize gay? Like, hello? I don't trust you, Phyllis. Dragon Christmas. So they can be your mascots, but you don't view them as beings. Stop eating garbage. Can you please just be normal? For a second. Normal? Uh, Dude. Easier if you were a go. Easier to be a girl. What if people aren't as accepting as me? Mmm. How did you get like this? Baby, she was born this way. I was playing in the woods, following the birds, flying. The fish oh my god, this is gorgeous. Leading me to a wishing well. A wishing well? Wait, how did you know it wasn't just a regular well? Do you want to tell my story for me? <laughs> a wish. To one day be trapped on a subway 
with an uptight knife. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, this is a magic spell? Please don't make me hate you, please. I don't want to hate you. Hi, hi, uh, you can Oh my god. And now you're a boy. I am today. Go off! I also love the irony that he can't hide his face. One, one signature. Ugh, I totally relate to that. <laughs> but you help me find her. Let me go ahead and pass this problem on to someone. Else. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Metal. Oh no. Oh, I'm fucked. Sorry, I've been listening to Judas Priest since I was like 10 years old. Oh my God. All right, well, you didn't kill the queen, but you definitely just assaulted that guy. <laughs> okay, good. I really didn't want to hate you. Gather the ammo. Oh, the colors. There's an arrow in your leg. That's two Shrek references. <laughs> Three more and Shrek 5 gets confirmed. Okay, most people scream at that part. Yeah, someone's getting ice cream for being brave. Uh, I've been through worse. Oh, kiddo. What does it feel like? Pretty stabby. The shape shifting. Sorry. Small-minded question. Oh! Yeah, there's... Honestly, oh. I feel worse when I don't do it. Like, my insides are itchy. Oh! That second right before you sink, then I shapeshift, and I'm free. Cool. That's fucking beautiful. Fuck off. I would die, die. I just... Sure wouldn't be living. Hell yeah. Jesus. Uh, such a shame I have to go. Shut up, dude. We're having a moment. Stop talking. He wants blood. God. God. Your face is so cool. Look at him. He's getting animated with the Mona. Ballister's armor. Respect me. Protect me. Don't be honest. Oh. Don't be awkward. Oh. Well, yeah, awkward, but like he looked. Oh my god. But he looked up to him, dabbing. It's not even a deep dab. Oh, fuck you. The director set me up. Director, I hardly. I didn't know what to do. I, I tried to show you before. Valid, fair enough. Sorry for kidnapping you. It's okay. Or am I? Fuck, don't do, don't do it again. You're innocent. We have the proof. Once we upload that video, we... What? What? The institute needs to shut down. Yeah, dude, you live in a society. The institute's not the problem. The director is. Who's gonna tell him? Arm chopping is not a love language. Cut off my arm. He disarmed a weapon. It's how we were trained. Damn. Wow. Fine. But when things go south, I'm breaking stuff. Just one of those days. Oh, cool. And we're canceling the Equality Project? Jesus. Please, I don't want... Golden Daddy to be a part of this. Now everyone expects me to arrest Ballister, and if I don't, I'm a traitor to you, and if I do, I'm a traitor to him. Breathe, bud, breathe. Who chops off an arm? Because I was trained to? Arm chopping is not a lie! Oh, fuck. No! Stay strong, Ambrosius. Keeping it bottled up inside is not strength. They were like this when I got here. Fuck yeah. The director killed the queen. What? Another desperate you're gonna say this in front of the director? And I have proof. <laughs> Good job, trigger happy fuckface. Jesus, I'm not, I'm running out of clever quips. I'm gonna lose my shit. What is she? Ambrosius, I am begging you to trust me. Mm. You wanna show him? I love to. Let's break stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Is that a Matrix Reloaded reference? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know this wasn't originally produced by Netflix, but uh, I'm gonna tell myself Transforming into a Horse is a Centaur World reference. What if it isn't a golden boy? Go off. <laughs> Where do you get the glasses? Oh my god. Save them. Uh, break more stuff. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello? <sighs> Fucking Netflix. Did it have to start back over at this part? No, don't show me Nimona getting zapped again. <laughs> Hell yeah, throw the horns. Oh, thank you for saving the kid. Anyway, eat cereal. It's okay. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? Mom fucking talked, like, uh, fucking. Oh, kiddo. I said I don't want to talk about it. No, you talk about it when you're ready, please. They grow up believing that they can be a hero if they drive a sword into the heart of anything different. I don't know what's scarier. Everyone in this kingdom wants to run a sword through my heart. But then sometimes, I just want to let them. No! Oh, God! Fucking links in the description. Jesus. Hug, shoulder pads, finger guns, fist bumps, comfort gestures, please. <laughs> what would we do? We can't change the way people see us. We shouldn't have to run. And you made a deal, right? We clear your name, you make me your side. Fuck yeah. So, you got a plan? Of course I have a plan. <laughs> Fuck shit up. Protecting our way of life. Holy crap. Did you swap his sword? Did you set him up? Tell me the truth! I beg the queen not to question the <sighs> Not to question what's kept us safe for a thousand years. But she wouldn't... Safe or stagnant? Allowing Ballester to hold the sword was the first crack in the wall. You need to re-listen to that album. Is that? His real sword. Oh! You fucking dickhead! Okay, he's fine. That's way too comical. He's fine. Hello? He's fine. Daddy, get up. Hello? 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 Uh... Yes. My friend fucking thank you. <laughs> thank fuck. Don't get your sword, boss. Uh, she can keep it. Nah, take a sword. We need to talk. Ha! Take that from Charwalk. God, the soundtrack is amazing. Oh! <laughs> I fucking knew it! Tell me you could read five. Oh. Metal. Missed two out of three? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's pretty fucking metal. Cool, thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Yay, content. I love it. Can't wait to see that apology song video. Oh! <laughs> they put his head to the shark's mouth. That's great. Fuck off. That's not funny. <laughs> oh no, you don't like being labeled a villain? For the murder of the queen. And what, some old ass book that's probably been misinterpreted and like retranslated and corroded over thousands of years? Fuck off. I mean, what could that mean? Oh. Oh no. It's okay, you're safe. Well. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> Loins of gold. No, dude, communicate. Back up at least. Never mind, you can't take her here. You got 30 seconds. 30 seconds? There's no more time than you give me. I'm here to save you. Valid. It is not me. That was the last... Fuck off. ...something that can take any form. Your spouse, your child, your best friend, the person sitting next to you. Fuck off. Oh, shit. She manipulated both of us. But you'll be a knight again. The director can't get away. The director... Fuck. No, the fuck you're not. They could be amongst us, any one of us, in fighting. She's Chloris, monster. Defending herself. She's my friend. Aren't I more than that? Not if you're gonna be like this, daddy. You're in danger. Why don't you just leave me alone? <laughs> because I love you. Then trust him. Keith's my favorite Try Guy now. I have not slept like that. Because you feel safe? Fuck, that's a terrifying shot. Is this you? You think that I would do that? You're the one who told me not to trust anybody, to question everything. That's not, not like this, asshole. You wanted them to see a villain, someone else to hate, so you wouldn't be alone. Because you're not a sidekick. Bro. You're a... What? I'm a what? You know what you are. No, I want to hear you say it. <laughs> Come on, say it. 
please don't. Fuck you. There are no daddies in this movie. Fuck this. I'm getting a fucking headache and my stomach hurts. Oh, fuck. Wait, was the well real? So the animals are pricks too? Oh, is that Gold Goldorith? Goldorith? Link? Legend of Zelda? This is fine. Already a better story than Twilight. Yay! No fair, you just got to do every Zelda game. I mean, yeah, if they didn't know when you're a bear and yeah, now they're gonna, yep. Yeah. She's a monster. You're the, we're the monster. We, we come on. Fuck. <laughs> Stop. Nice job, fuck face. Yeah, fire's also bad. Guess we have to start all the way the fuck over. Yup. Fucking fuck. Go back to the shadows from whence you came. I didn't need the creepy little kid voice. Is the wall literally to keep just you out? Uh. Fuck. <laughs> I am not the mood for silly fucking Chad man right now. If that thing destroys the kingdom, it's on you, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, does it even have a form? I feel like normally this is when I would say you are not a gun, but honestly, Fuck them. Also gonna hit the love this button. Everyone remember to like and subscribe, ring the bell. I know this is subverting the message and theme entirely. We can kill him. I the monster. I Damn. Ma'am, someone has turned the cannon into the kingdom. Yes, no. I gave you one. Yeah, it's almost like it wasn't really there to protect you. God, it's so scary and like, it's not fun looking without a sense of like, Without a sense of like acceptance or identity, it's just just smoke and goop and. I don't know what's scarier. <laughs> the fact that everyone in this kingdom wants to run a sword. Then my heart will be broken. No, no. <laughs> I just want it. Ooh, I'm not okay. No. Holy shit! No. Stop! Stop! Fucking thank you. <laughs> Fuck. I see you, Devon. And you're not alone. <laughs> oh my god. I just wasn't expecting like dirt and stuff. Oh shit. Get a monster attack and it's the fucking hug. Fucking, yeah, up your fucking b-hole, lady. Fuck you, eat shit. It's over. Oh, thank you, daddy. Oh, my head hurts. And I'm dizzy. All right, guys, time to fucking break shit. Oh, thank God, daddy's okay. Hey, boss. Be right back. I'm gonna go break some stuff. <laughs> oh, fuck off, it's beautiful. Eat shit. Nimona. Um, um, Nimona, assemble. Um, no. Yeah, fucking fix it. Nope. Nope. Um, um, fucking fix it, dude. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. Faster, faster, fix it. Oh my god, the walls got. I'm so fucking stressed and stupid. Some of us don't get the happily ever after. Shut up! No! <laughs> what? And same, and same shade of pink and red and... <laughs> yes! Fucking thank you kissing! Like, now fucking bring her back! Yes vibes, now bring her back! <laughs> okay, no, yep, I got it. Now hurry up and bring her back. I can't enjoy any of this until you fucking bring her back. Please. Cool, that looked like the comic. Fuck off. And the rainbow, cool. Nope, yep, cool. Nice rainbow, what does that mean? Nice rainbow, what does that mean? <laughs> Fuck. Please, come on. <laughs> okay. Please, please. Hey. Thank fucking God. 
Holy shit, dude, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna throw up. Like, I'm fucking dizzy. <sighs> Doing this video, it, it definitely got easier knowing that Nimona comes back at the end. Holy crap, it really lets you sit, sink, and stew in that concept of Nimona being gone. I, it has to be done that way, and I, I resent that the world is in a place that it's in to where it has to be illustrated that way. And I think the movie does an incredible job navigating so many of these heavier, more intricate concepts. I, I'll go in order in a second, but I just, there's just something so incredible to me. The focus is on Nimona. There's just such a beautiful set dressing around Nimona's character and the impact that she has. And you can you could see it in the colors, even down to just the dynamic between Ballister and Nimona. Like there's something, I still don't know if Nimona is a thousand and ten or ten, either way. The the mentor, the parent character, it it that's just as fluid as Nimona is. <laughs> like I don't know how else to describe it. The kid who's used to being a villain and like finally someone else who's being ostracized by the world. Let's break some stuff. But even Nimona's like goals are very small, like Revenge. Golden Loin uh, is is your nemesis. Like, Nimona can't even really fathom a, a complicated relationship. It's these tangible, unsettling moments of like, what if someone you love is suddenly not willing to expand as we continue to broaden the horizon and definition of what it is to be human and how to express ourselves? There's so many times where this movie could have like set itself up to be a lot simpler. It's just so admirable how like constantly like layered and dense this stays. It could take a shallower route. And that's, it's kind of what I love about the first seven minutes of the movie because it, it is before Nimona even shows up like, oh, here's the knight who's, you know, he's a commoner and he's not a Nepo knight. I'm kind of expecting, oh, he's a rookie out on the beat and he's he's gonna confront his biases and figure out something's wrong with the system. And everyone just pounces on the opportunity to just shred him down and label him a villain, label him a killer. Like it really does emphasize not only how he's been in a sense rewarded for minimizing himself, right? And it, it really illustrates that the the scraps you're taught to be grateful for aren't sustaining and yet also how fragile your place is, we already gave you a chance. What are you talking about? If you really gave him a chance, you'd be hearing him out. Benefit of the doubt. This doesn't seem like his character. Why would he do this to like the queen who is like gunning for him to be a knight? Like it just, it took me by like so much surprise. Like I'm, I'm just so glad I didn't know that that was going to happen. The, the Chadley knight, Todd, I don't respect you. Meh, meh, meh. Like there's something about how over the top spelling it out. And I'm like, okay, we get it. Oh, that's not even the issue. Oh, that's not even going to be the main thing that this character is dealing with. It's kind of brilliant. Like it kind of hammers in all the, all these bigger, easier, we've seen this before points so it can get to its own complexities so we can get to Nimona. I also really like the design of the world. Knights and swords, but also uh, tablets and TVs and cell phones. Like it's, it illustrates how like timeless, unfortunately, this, this problem is. It's very fun and serviceably reflective to us. <laughs> Pride flag, neon signs. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Todd, the, the Chad Knight, there's no way you set up this, this conspiracy, right? Like, it's kind of like, well, then who's really left? I guess it's the direct turf. Also, side note, the Squire did try to warn Ballister at the beginning. Also, speaking of the direct turf, today the kingdom will see you for who you really are. Acts really performed. Like, the performances here are already really stellar. Just, it feels very warm the first time I heard it. I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I guess I'd be nervous too, to shut your mouth. Like <laughs> Everything derails once the queen is dead. That's when we get introduced to Nimona. While they're playing a Kipo song, like I know it's not specifically written for Kipo, but it's a song that's in the Kipo mixtape and it just, it, mm. Talking Horse Transformation, it's also Centaur World, everything connects, all my videos are cinematic universe. I, there's something just about it, I don't know. We just saw Ballister not only be taught to attack monsters since he was a child, but also he's being attacked by knights since he was a child. Throwing everything we can at you and also by the way, you'll never be one of us, like it's a lot. And then to see Nimona just the first time something shitty comes her way, just I'm gonna do my best with pronouns. The Nimona form 
is she her for my understanding? I'm going to do my best. Demona, even like the initial plan of, you know, let's, let's go into hiding. Everyone will forget our name. Then we'll rise like a Phoenix and destroy the government. Like that's literally what happens. We've been following Nimona's plan this whole time. Nimona's playing 5d chess. It's just, it's so captivating to watch it again. And like how fast the beginning is so we can get through those beats. Surely we can reason with them thrown instantly in jail. The direct turf like flinches at him. And, and now we know that it's genuine and ingrained since before the movie even started, but it still plays so well as like, oh, the queen. While we're tackling the notion of expanding our concept of a human, they label Nimona as a monster. Nimona is not a monster. Nimona is just Nimona. Every version of Nimona is Nimona. While we're expressing and tackling those themes, there's a lot of little things that like just really resonated with me. Just like how Ballister has been like in a sense rewarded for minimizing himself. He's so blindsided by like being framed and being ostracized that like Nimona really helps him like let out that that rage. There's a, a line early on like let's fight this one. He's got a punchable face. And he finally concedes, yes, he has a punchable face. He's not angry yet. He's kind of in a sense like blaming himself for, oh, we'll clear this up. Like there's only like a couple, a couple bad apples. This isn't a flawed system or society. It's interesting how defeated and apologetic and like kind of blaming himself in a sense. And Nimona keeps like giving him a response. Like we don't need to be sneaky. Let's cause a scene. And it's balanced so interestingly between the logical stealth mode so we don't get caught and captured and I shouldn't be minimizing myself. It just, it really spoke to me because I'm constantly afraid and it's something I'm always working on. And yet Nimona never pushes him outside of his comfort zone against his will. We tried stealth. This is going to be faster. Hey, I can fly us to the squire. No, we're going to take the train. Well, there's extra security cameras down in the train. Sure, we got around that with a distraction, but they still knew what stop they were going to next because you're on a rail system. It was so interesting to see how Ballister kind of gets in his own way. Again, forgive the pun, the fluidity of who the mentor is and who's learning. I love their dynamics so much. I love playing board games and Amona just gets to be a kid and like complain about the rules and kind of losing yourself in the joy and then breathing and then breathing fire and huh, that's pretty metal. Not Oh, grosser. Ah, danger. Oh, you breathe fire. Cool. There's something about that, like, support and patience. And same thing with Nimona. Nimona only sees heroes and villains, this black and white way of existing, because that's all that's been given to Nimona. The person who chopped off your arm must be your enemy. And this is an instance where it feels like Ballister is, you know, making up excuses and, like, rationalizing and minimizing what he's going through. But there's also a reality to it. His boyfriend, p fiance, daddy, daddy number two, his boyfriend cut off his arm and that's what he was trained to do. Oh, this must be your nemesis. Uh, it's a lot more complicated than that. It's so interesting how they both introduce nuance and understanding to the world and yet it doesn't take from the validity of each other's experiences. It just highlights what they've been through and how that kind of hinders their their outlook on life. Golden Loin even says the same thing as Nimona. Arm chopping is not a love language. This is what we were taught to do. Like, how is this helpful? Why did I do that? It's so layered. And yet there's still also an obvious bad guy. And even when even when she's exposed, the tactics, right? The the scroll that tells us the truth of our histories. And there's no way that this gets misinterpreted. It's even a picture. Literally the interpretation, oh well this monster, which I loved the artwork of it because it's literally a binary understanding of Nimona. It's beast and then segmented child inside, not child and beast, one in the same form. It was definitely made by somebody who does not understand nor care about Nimona. Oh, it's so ripe with these choices. I'm talking about mostly heavy stuff, but that's not to say that it's not fun. There's great jokes. Oh, I love those moments where Ballister starts to be just as animated as Nimona. I love Nimona's general energy performance, yes, but also in the animation. I remember seeing like a promo photo and I'm like, wow, like we're going for like big eye, big smile, but it makes so much sense because Nimona doesn't have like a stagnant form. It really, I guess pun intended, Everything has a fluidity to it. Like it's it's so engaging and interesting, but then also the color that Nimona represents and seeing that within certain frames. When Nimona updates the murder wall, it's lit with sort of Nimona's color, right? It's not a linear 
direction and yeah, let's destroy this oppressive system. It's very stop and go, which I love. It's very real, unfortunately, and it gives weight to how someone can harbor so much fear and, you know, oh, I'm used to this. This is okay. And even Nimona does it. Oh, I can't feel the arrow in my leg. I'm used to pain. That isn't okay. And I, I like how they both kind of juxtapose each other in those ways. And I love how Nimona's existence is described by Nimona, but also felt in the movie. You're a shark now. Can you go back to being yourself? I don't understand the question. I'm a shark now. It just kind of fast tracks that conversation. There's something about every form being Nimona and really making sure that like Ballister gets it. And the fact that he's brushing up against this concept so much, it presents organic opportunities to expand on this further for the audience in a way that doesn't feel like, let me flip my chair around. How do you do fellow youths? I've got that Riz, no cap bet. Like it just, it feels very organic. Obliterate that like poggers. <laughs> And speaking of Nimona, I'm also so happy that the wishing well thing was a bit beautiful animated sequence. It just hit me in a moment of, oh, did I overthink this metaphor then? If you wished as opposed to baby, I was born this way. Oh, okay. I get it now. Like you're messing with him. Like it just, it messed with me too. And that's something that I really treasure about this movie is it, it messed with me. It challenged me. And I don't know, it's, there's moments where I'm like, yeah, safety, wear goggles. Maybe we don't do the wings when we're trying to blend in. Let's do it later. We're being followed by the government and they can scan our faces. And then, Hey man, you're missing the point. I'm going to be myself. Oh, we're going to try being sneaky. Being sneaky got us stuck in a closet. Let's destroy some shit. And I also, I loved comparing the shapeshifting to a sneeze. Everybody sneezes. That's just a natural thing. Well, think about when you hold it in, like how uncomfortable that is, or like it, it still makes a loud noise. It's disruptive still if you're trying to be quiet, right? I've never had a good time holding in my sneeze. When Nimona starts to describe the freedom in transforming and how it makes her feel like she's living, it just really spelled that out for me. Like every character, well, almost every character, uh, Todd is delightfully basic until the very end where you see him more Nimona. Every character is like surprisingly intricate and human. If I help you, I'm betraying the man I love. Why did I chop off his arm? And then just, I'm fine. It was frightening. It was painful. And again, it's like all these little bricks in the wall, TM, that create this complacency. The let's show them metal, metal. I need to talk about that for a second. That's the music that saved my life, that no, nothing is wrong with who I am. Multiple factors I don't want to get into, but like, you know, people are the way they are. And like, hey, speaking of hell, people have said this music belongs in hell. And I'm like, that's silly. I just wish there was more metal. Can you just imagine if like, how would be thy name played? But the score was gorgeous. And I still had a lot of fun with the soundtrack. I know I'm asking for licensed music. I just wish that there was more metal, but like that brief moment of Judas Priest was like, oh, like electricity through my body. It, mm. Not the most important reason that this movie resonated with somebody <laughs> or even myself, but yay, metal. Seeing Nimona like throw up the horns and like, ah, oh, it's just, it's satisfying. The action scenes are super fun. I love seeing Nimona transform. Alistair defeated Golden Loin. He really is the best knight there. And they went, yeah, we're going to frame him because, you know different. He has this opportunity while rebelling with Nimona to push back against his boyfriend. You don't know me at all if you think that I would do this, let alone hurt you now. Like it's subtextually so rich while being so fun and it's it's admirable. Or like the fact that Nimona even like is giving opportunities for Bowser to talk to somebody. Okay, we tried to get you to tell the truth. Time to break stuff. I'm a sucker for found families. We all know that. Every time I dig through the hole of, wait, Nimona is a thousand and also a kid. A, Nimona is Nimona and you're defeating the point. B, yeah, I think the point there is this has been going on for so long that it's ingrained in our society. Dating all the way back to a statue in scriptures amount of history. The flashback was also super effective. The self-destruction of humanity. When the villagers are attacking Nimona, one of them throws a torch and it like bounces off of Nimona, lands and catches the whole village on fire. You did that to yourselves. And it even starts to frame it, right? The fire around Galgareth, Galareth. I just wish the little kid voice wasn't there, but it also could be indicative of the kid voice that Nimona uses to intimidate the squire. You, you, you're banished to the darkness. Mister, will you help me find my mommy? Like it's the same voice. I think there's a point to it. It just kind of killed the intensity a little. However, the fire picked it right back up because now here it is the framing of, oh, fire and destruction. You did that to yourselves. 
we as humans, by ostracizing each other, by othering each other, we're damaging our own species. We're hurting our own. And it's going to keep going. The cycle is going to continue. My ass would have been beat if I didn't say thank you to the dragon who saved me. <laughs> like, <laughs> while it also takes a lot of ownership and gravity in you know, Ballister, Golden Loin, even Todd, the adults having to kind of like reprogram how they approach things, understand that they were taught things that aren't indicative of value or good using, unfortunately, the very potent rhetoric of you're not safe. It could be any one of you. It works temporarily on Ballister. He needs more clarifiers. And now here he is. You need to prove to me that you aren't dangerous, says the man falsely accused of killing the queen like two days ago. It's scary. And it's also that's Demona's support system. And then turning into that beast form. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Turning into that mass of nothing it's shapeless there's no detailing it's just mass and goop it's scary it's not fun anymore you know Nimona's not saying anything funny there's no oh now you're an armadillo oh now you're an ostrich haha <laughs> gorilla nope just this you happy now one form oh i'm sorry is this not the form you wanted like it's just very jarring it's it's it feels like the character is dying the statue being used as a weapon, reflecting the ideology being weaponized against Demona. Ballister's hand, it's it's simultaneously a caress and stopping. I don't know, like it's it's care and it's determined. And seeing like the news report still going and it's like monster attack and it's just a just a kid who needed a hug. The dirt looking like bruising and stuff was also very frightening. And it's like, yep, all those, all those big laser attacks and, you know, sci-fi hovercrafts and drones and everything. That was a child. I'm not a fan of being iron gianted. Again, I think it speaks to the state of the world and how we treat each other. It was a little too overpowering for me to put it very mildly. It was nice to get the, the kiss between Ballister and Golden Loin, that little kid who like, you almost think it's Demona because of the hair. What if there are other shapeshifters out there? Like it's hope for the future to see the kid that looks kind of like Nimona. I think the cast was incredible. I think the animation was stunning. Like I said, there's a lot of layers and complexity to these topics and themes and Nimona didn't shy away from them. Like I said, some parts were a little goofy maybe, but it ended up being ultimately serviceable to the, to the end result. I just, I thought it was beautiful. I hope people did too. Again, I know I'm asking for licensable, expensive music. It would have been great to have had more metal in there, but it also might have been distracting. Also, switching Disney and Blue Sky to Netflix. It, it, who knows what kind of complications happened there with music things. Those are not Those are hardly even complaints. It's just, ah, oh, man. Ultimately, I adored this movie. <laughs> Definitely a great way to spend my last three days with a free Netflix account before I have to pay for my own. <laughs> but yeah, there you guys go. Those are some of my thoughts and some of my reactions to Nimona on Netflix. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. If you want me to do a deep dive video into more of the things and elements I talked about in the story, I'd love to do that or check out the graphic novels would be cool. I've been thinking about doing more, oh, what's the book about if I've seen the movie or the show, right? Avatar, Coraline, things like that. So let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. I'm streaming twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays on my gaming channel, Bill Chill Gaming, linked in the description next to my merch store. Speaking of the description, there's also a link there to a card that will send you to resources for social awareness and education, mental health and crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. If you or someone you know need them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time I upload or go live. Be safe, be mindful of others, wear a mask if you go out, and remember to take care of yourselves, please.